What's up? Welcome to Black Plague TV, where we promote and celebrate Rhode Island's often overlooked talent. I'm your host, Bennett Knows, and today we'll be looking at an up-and-coming artist from Boston, Massachusetts, who plans to make an impact with his music. Kyle Henry strives to promote positivity and creativity, as well as inspiration through his craft. Henry notes artists such as Jay Dilla, Kanye West, Enya, Outkast, and Jay-Z as his biggest inspirations. In this first video, Henry teams up with former XXL freshman Mickey Fax. Check it out. Here's Henry's Woke Up featuring Mickey Fax. Yeah, grown man talk don't interrupt. Nigga with the old mind cussing in the tux. Charm on the chain, but he never seen luck. Living in the old mind, mind so corrupt. He never seen joy, so he doesn't feel pain. And never seen peace, unaware of the insane. He would have been lost, but I found him in the mirror. Full of dirty vision, so I love to see it clearly. Yeah. But I'm back up in the game Still the samurai and I'm living it the same Still cold-blooded with the same name A little more success, still flirting with the fame But it's strange, caught up in the pain Hurting in the day, but the night is so insane Man, will it ever stop? I pray to my religion And the nights are getting tough But I swear I got a vision and it goes like this I woke up from a dream That I had last night Hey, I was in this place where everything was alright And we ain't feel pain and ain't nobody stressing And if they try to run up on you, then it's God bless you Cause we about to get it, can you feel it in the air? Hey, I just had a vision that I'm about to be there Said we ain't feel pain and ain't nobody stressing And if they try to run up on you, then it's God bless you Cause we about to get it, can you feel it in the air? Hey, I just had a vision that I'm about to be there Say what you gonna yeah. do when the times get hard in the night, you just feel like you uh -huh. alone. Do you ride, ride, <laughs> fall, fall, fly, fly, stand tall? Whoop. Nightmares of a dreamer yeah. They say life's rare, I'm aware as a breather yeah. They say fight fair, but I swear I see cheaters So until white hair might appear, I'm a leader <laughs> Every light here, my aura is Times Square Bright glare, so I get slight stares as a speaker yeah. Wings on my back, I'm an archangel I even dream when I rap, call me Clark Gable Woo. Headed to the Barbados, never return Instinct is in sync, remember to learn yes. I'm so hot now, if it's December, I burn Friends emerge when success on the verge Alone with my peeps, don't hope to convince me Daydreaming while I speak, don't even pinch me Stand tall like a giant in a dwarf land With my long hand pointing toward what I call grand I woke up from a dream that I had last night Hey, I was in this place where everything was alright And we ain't feel pain and ain't nobody stressing And if they try to run up on you, then it's God bless you Cause we about to get it, can you feel it in the air? Hey, I just had a vision that I'm about to be there Said we ain't feel pain and ain't nobody stressing And if they try to run up on you, then it's God bless you Cause we about to get it, can you feel it in the air? Hey, I just had a vision that I'm about to be there Say what you gonna do? When the times get hard in the night, you just feel like you alone. Do you ride, ride, fall, fall, fly, fly. stand tall? Uh. Man, don't fear. Other man. No man fears what man sees in the mirror. I woke up from a dream 
that I had last night. Hey, I was in this place where everything was alright, and we ain't feel pain, and ain't nobody stress you. And if they try to run up on you, then it's God bless you, cause we about to get it. Can you feel it in the air? Hey, I just had a vision that I'm about to be there, said we ain't feel pain, and ain't nobody stress you. And if they try to run up on you, then it's God bless you, cause we about to get it. Can you feel it in the air? Hey, I just had a vision that I'm about to be there, say what you gon' do. Times get hard in the night, you just feel like you alone. Do you ride, ride, fall, fall, fly, fly. stand tall? Uh. Wasn't that dope? Joining us here on Black Plague TV, give it up for Kyle Henry. What's good, man? What's up, man? How are you doing? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm good. How was your trip from Boston? It was good, man. Yeah. Not I, I, it's not bad outside, right? No, nah, it's nice. Uh, it's nice, finally. Yeah. Um, but let's get into this. Let's let's find out who Kyle Henry is. So, okay. when did you start uh, making music, and like, how did that become something that you wanted to do? You know, some people yeah. like they start off at like as a hobby, and then they like they figure out like maybe this is something that I could actually pursue as like a job. So, tell me how you started off. Uh, well, I've always, you know, I've always loved writing music, mm -hmm. but I never had the chance to really professionally record anything. Yeah. So one time when I was 15, I had a friend who, who had a studio in his basement. It was, right. a pretty, it was a pretty legit setup. Legit. So I was like, you know, I begged him to record there and he didn't really want me to at first, but yep. finally he let me. And when I heard my vocals come back out of like these professional speakers mm -hmm. and this professional quality track get back to me. And when I played it for people around me, I saw their reaction. And I was like, man, this is something I could really do. Yeah. And people were inspired by it. And from that day on, I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do. I want to get that same exact reaction that I got that day okay. constantly. All right, that's dope. So yeah. you started basically in your friend's basement. Yep. And like, you were impressed with what you heard. People were impressed, so you yeah, decided man. to actually pursue it. That's what's up. So what was the next step after that? So um, I know you're part of KMD Entertainment, but was there a point in between that uh, before when you started developing your music and then you got into KMD Entertainment? Or tell me about that transition. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, from that day, the next step was to get a setup of my own. Okay. So I started just saving money and doing what I can, I started off with a karaoke mic all right. and started teaching myself how to use all the, all the programs. Yep. And eventually I did that, that was 15, I'm 21 now, okay. you know, and I've self-taught since that day. Yeah, definitely. But now I'm able to use the top programs. And once I was able to develop my craft and put out my first mixtape yep. and kind of get a feel for how things worked, I started on my second one. And I had a couple friends around me who rapped and you know, I thought yeah. that their talent was great but I felt like it was kind of overlooked. Yeah. So one night I just kind of sat to myself and KMD came to me and I don't know right. why. And I was just like, you know what? I want to start on. this KMD little. stands for, what is it? Kill My Dreams? Kill My Dreams Entertainment, yeah. Okay. And the reason behind that is kill my dreams and in parentheses, it's so we can turn them into reality. Cause you don't want a dream to be I a dream like forever. That. Yeah, you know? So. Yeah, that's dope, man. So um, you started off, uh, kill, uh, you started off yeah. It was your idea, mm -hmm. Kill My Dreams Entertainment. Um, so how many artists are within um, this group? Well, we have about four artists, but okay. the thing about KMD is it's not just musical artists, right. it's artists, period. Okay. So we have a couple graphic designers, we have photographers, but mostly artists. Yeah, something similar to like Black Plague Kid. Yeah, are exactly. All right? Yeah, it sounds very similar. Um, do you want to like... Uh, expand on like some of these artists um, you have your your rappers you have the, the um, graphic art designers you have photographers videographers so um, tell me about like what y'all what y'all do you know what I'm saying and um, what the entertainment uh, means to you what the group means to you um, so basically we just we want a chance to to work collectively with each other and helping each other get our creativity and yeah. our work out there to other people Definitely. and supporting each other you know I show maybe one of their works to somebody I know and in exchange they show it to somebody they know and that's why I kind of try to call us a family as opposed yeah. to a label 
and that's that's really what it says on the website we're an independent family not okay. a record label but yeah the you know our graphic designers have done every single work you see my album cover okay. my previous album cover they've done all that and um one person who i like to know in particular is my cousin she's actually signed to kmd she's a all singer right. she's like she's like on her taylor swift stuff but she's oh, amazing her name's okay. abby hansen and we're working on something we're working on a big big project for her this year all so right. i definitely want to shout her out all right definitely we're going to look forward to that um so in this first video that we just watched you teamed up with mickey fax so tell me about that experience yeah um well i wrote that track and i just wanted to make a track that was super real relatable to people yeah you know, waking up from a dream where everything was literally better than it is here right yeah. now. And for some reason, Mickey Fax was the first person who came to my mind. Yeah. And I just didn't think anything of it until one day my friend was like, why don't you try and contact him? And I was like, mm -hmm. that's not going to work. Yeah. But then I found his email on Twitter. It was in his bio. So I just, I messaged his manager, sent him the track. Mm -hmm. Like a day later, they said they liked it, they would do it. That's what's up. That was it, man. It was history. For yeah, man. It was as simple as that. Yeah, that simple. I feel you, man. That's what's up. So um, have you worked with any other artists other than Mickey Fax? Yeah. On my um, most recent mixtape, I worked with Consequence. Okay. Consequence was formerly from Good Music. Yep. We, we have a dope track on there. Ah, uh, um, that's dope. And that's on the new, the new mixtape that's yeah. coming out? Oh, no. That's on Where's of an Otaku, okay. the previous mixtape. Which we'll talk about in out. a few. Yeah. But other artists i also worked with versatile who's from black play of he's, course he's, of course he's here from rhode island um yeah we did a good track man he was on my this mixtape and my first mixtape okay we always do a track together we have to and we started rapping at like third grade together so ah uh, that's yeah, crazy man. you and versatile started rapping in third yeah, grade man. together come on that's crazy yeah. man um that's what's up though that y'all keep in touch and that you have um KMD to have your back and kind of network Definitely. and work with them. Um, now you said you listed a few artists as your inspiration. We uh, we've seen Outkast, Kanye West, um, Jay Z. Are these artists that you would like to work with in the future? Do you see yourself yeah. working with them? For sure. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, any other artists that inspire you or um, or that you want to work with? I I would like to do something with. Frank Ocean, if you're familiar uh, with him. Yeah, of course. I like, yeah, man, I like, I like that type of R and B. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's I, I'm trying to think of the best word to to, to describe it. Hmm. I guess it's just super creative. Yeah. You know, and I just, I think I could, I can make a track where his vocals and my vocals mixed together can be something great. Yeah. Have you tried to find his email? It's not. No, nah, his too Twitter big for bio. Me. Yeah. No. Uh, I. <laughs> I'll get out there sometime. Man. Nah, but, no, he's too. Yeah, he's too famous. Definitely, right now. you gotta make these dreams reality. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Of course. Yeah, I like that. Um, yeah. So, what else inspires you other than artists and music? Um, like me, I find my inspiration in, in all types of things every day. You know what I'm saying? And people, yeah. and objects, and experiences. Um, what inspires you? Um, I would say, besides music, definitely. I watch a lot of uh, Japanese anime. Okay, okay. I love that, man. It's just, it's something about, because I've always told people I wanted people to actually see my music when I'm, when I'm writing it. Yeah. You know, when they li listen to it, I want them to be able to picture the video already. Yeah. And the thing about Japanese anime is like the colors and just the, the fantasy worlds that, that they create is such an inspiration to me sometimes yeah. that I'll take that vision and try and, you know, it in my words and it's, yeah. it helps a lot that's that's really what inspired me to be so creative with my music videos and things like yeah, that yeah that's what's up so um what are your ambitions where do you see yourself in 10 years where do you see uh kyle henry and kmd entertainment in 10 years you know what i'm saying yeah i mean i definitely want to want to take kmd all the way to the top yep. i don't want it to be just me i want it to be all of us yeah but i see us um i see us just expanding man okay and getting big and 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 getting our own place our own office and yeah. starting to work with other independent artists that yep. we feel are worthy enough to get out there because that's really what it's about yeah. just to give these people a chance Ooh, I, you know that's what's up all right so you have this m music video that we're about to call out just called rep it with me um you say that you're inspired by a lot of japanese anime are we going to see this in this music video not this one okay um this video was just like i i have a lot of mellow 
you know, slow tempo tracks on my CD, and this one's kind of upbeat, and I just wanted to like talk that stuff, yeah. you know? So that, that's really what this is. We drove around Boston and shot this entire video from like midnight to four in the morning. So. Uh, that's dope, and Boston's a dope place, right? Yeah. A very beautiful place, I like being out there. But all right, when we come back, we are going to be discussing Kyle's projects, but first, check out Rep It With Me. Malcolm before Mecca, rapper in Tribeca, Allah of your religion, nigga now just listen, I done came up, <laughs> don't you hear that all the time, people claiming stars, but I never see them shine, and they always say the same, like we about to run the game, but when they plans fall, they quit the game, like damn, where's that man who say he ran the whole city, huh, not every diddy's gon' make another biggie, it's hard being that nigga on the come up, Cause either you make it or you that nigga on the come up And nigga, I came up, invaded and took it like I was baited Debated if I should make it to show these niggas they ain't it I'm just a man, man, the city's my home I ain't saying I'm the king, I'm just sweeping the throne If you know me, then you know me If you don't, we'll get along Sometimes I ain't that person that you hearing in the song, but This is for my city, this is for my city I hope that when I'm done, that them people rapping with me I'll see you when you see me If you look up to the sky You listen when you talking to that cold samurai You listen when you talking to that cold samurai You listen when you talking to that cold samurai I do it for my city I do it for my city I hope that when I'm done That them people with the Whitney Bean Town This is that, that feel good shit uh, 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 That make you say you could shit that feeling that you get in when you feel like you on top and you just wish a nigga would shit. Try and bring me down. 360 back around. Put a 2-3 in your 265. 617 idolize. Make this shit your battle cry. Then I march up to the market stores. Try and put a label on me. Oh well, we ain't got no Mandel. So park that car outside the front. Walk into that bitch like what? Go outside and pop the trunk. Nothing's there, we knuckle up. Take this ride, I'll buckle up. This is what I'm in it for. Y'all just trying to understand, but I'm a walking metaphor. I'm just a man, man. The city's my home. I ain't saying I'm the king. I'm just Sweeping the throne, hey. but shit, at least I'm there, and them people want to cheer, cause they want that nigga that they hearing in the song, so. This is for my city, this is for my city, I hope that when I'm done, that them people rapping with me, I'll see you when you see me, if you look up to the sky, you listen when you talking to that cold samurai, you listen when you talking to that cold samurai, you listen when you talking to that cold samurai, I do it for my city, I do it for my city. I hope that when I'm done, that them people rather with me This is town. Martin Luther, if you mix with Freddy Krueger And he's with a couple shooters, and they aiming at your tuba You act like it's Medusa, and freeze and plead the five The afterlife's a track, but I still commit suicide If you 6-1, that was a 6-2 Y'all gon' need rap genius for this, man Said I wasn't playing when I started at 15 Now a couple lawyers said they had the same dream But the city needs a hero, what's a hero to a city? It's a lot of you reppin', but ain't no one reppin' with me It's a lot of you second, but won't still and try and get me I love that competition, boy, don't spit that flame for friendly I'm just a man, man, the city's my home I ain't saying I'm the king, I'm just sweeping the throne I've been watching for a while, y'all are taking too long I guess it's time to give the people who they hearing in the song, so This is for my city, this is for my city hey. I hope that when I'm done, All that right. the people rapping with me I'll see you when you see me, if you look up to the sky You listen <laughs> when you talking to that cold samurai yeah. You listen yeah. when you talking to that cold samurai yeah. You listen when you talking to that cold samurai hey. I do it for my city, hey. I do it for my city hey. I hope that when I'm done, that the people better with me being town
Another dope video from Kyle Henry. I'm joined here on Black Plague TV by Boston's own um, KMD Entertainment's Kyle Henry. What's good? Um, we're about to discuss your projects. Um, I'm having a hard time discussing your previous name because you just started going by Kyle Henry. You yeah. started with, I'm going to try it, Kedita Anutaku. Kedita Otaku. Kedita Otaku. Yeah. All right, so tell us about um, that name, how you, how you got it, you know what I'm saying? And then we'll mm -hmm. go into that first mixtape or the second one that you released under that name. Yeah. All right, so well, what's up with the name, Doug? Um, <laughs> Kedita Otaku, well, Kedita was just a nickname my father okay. gave me when I was younger. Yeah. And it was just like, you know, we just messed around and gave each other cool nicknames. Mm -hmm. um, otaku is a Japanese term for somebody with obsessive interest. And I kind of, and sometimes it pertains to like anime and things like mm -hmm. that. That's usually how they use it. Yeah. But I used it for both because I told you previously anime is my inspiration. Mm -hmm. But music is also my obsessive interest. Yeah. So I use that. And I really like the name. You know, I, I still am going to keep that as my nickname. Mm -hmm. But I thought that my music is too personal to have a stage name. You know, okay. it, yeah. everything is about my own life. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to drop it and keep the government and let people know, you know, it's I all. I feel that, man. That's yeah. dope. So your last mixtape, Words of, I'm, fu I'm messing up. Words, Words of, of Otaku. Words of an Otaku. Words of an Otaku. Yeah. I, I need to get some lessons in Japanese <laughs> or something. But um, this last mixtape, you put it out in September. You have over 25,000 downloads. Yeah, man. Um, congratulations to you because Thank that's you. definitely, Thank definitely you. a great achievement. Um, tell me about the work on this mixtape. Um, I actually engineered that mixtape myself. Okay. I didn't have time to go to a studio, so I decided to give it a shot again like I did with my previous tape. Mm -hmm. And what I learned is that my engineering skills improved. And once yeah. I saw that, I just decided to engineer the entire thing. Okay. And it was, it was pretty good. Um, shout out to Mickey Fax and Consequence for tweeting that to help me get those downloads. Yep. You know, they definitely help with that, with their fan base. And um, yeah, man, that, that mixtape means a lot to me. It, it's, it's very different than my first one. Mm -hmm. It's very um, personal. Okay. And it's deep as well, but it's definitely a mixtape that is worth listening to. Okay, so make sure you guys check that out. It's on, you could get it on Dat Piff. Yep, Dat Piff. So check it out on Dat Piff. Um, but you just changed your name, so now you drop the stage name. Mm -hmm. um, you go by Kyle Henry, and you have another mixtape coming out. I do. The Warrior um, in a Writer's Body. Yep. Um, do you want to tell me about this transition that you're making? Because, like you said, you said that this mixtape is um, it was personal to you, but um, you just dropped your stage name because you yeah. didn't want it to interfere with that uh, with yourself and your image. You know what I'm saying? So tell me about the transition between the old mixtape or the last mixtape and this one that's mm -hmm. coming out? Well, I mean, this mixtape is going to be a lot, and I haven't decided if it's going to be a mixtape or an album yet because okay. I'm putting a lot of work into it. All but right. it's going to be a lot of, um, you know, more, even more personal tracks with me. It's not going to be sad necessarily, but just, it's, I'm just going to be talking about myself yeah. and my life, which is why I didn't want a stage name. Yeah. You know, um, I'm working with a lot of great people on here too. I can't, I can't, you can't talk say about it any yet. Names. No, I wish I could. So, like, uh, what kind of people are we talking about? Um, I have a really important rapper that people know uh, okay. very well. And he had a great year last year. Uh, we made that connection. I, I, my, man, my manager is the one who kind of hooked it up. I wish I could say it. I can't. You're talking about Double XL, were they part of that group last they were, year? They uh, were. I don't know if they were part last year, but they were on Double XL. Or he was on Double XL. All right, well. And yeah. <laughs> You're uh, killing me, dude. Uh, you I know hate what? Them. I'll make sure I'm Black I'm Black I gotta know these things. Yeah, man, I'll send you an email as soon as I get that track right. back. No, definitely, sure. definitely. We're looking but. forward to that. So any other co collaborations other than this one big artist that you're not trying to... Um, yeah, actually, me and Versatile, who's also from Black Play, okay. we have a project together, kind of like a Watch the Throne type CD oh, that we're making. That's dope. Um, that's all I can really say about it, but that's definitely in the works. Because right. Versatile is also a part of KMD. He's one of our artists, too. Oh, really? He was actually in KMD when we first started. He was okay. one of the first people. So he works with KMD and Black Plague. So we're going to, you know, we're going to chop it up and make sure we get that KMD track from us <laughs> together that, that 
that CD, but I can't even discuss the name or anything. That's, that's all I can say. It's pretty exclusive. Okay, okay. Yeah. We're looking forward to that as well. So um, anything else on the Warrior? Like, what else? So we got collaborations. We, we have, you know, we're getting to know you a little more as Kyle mm -hmm. Henry versus, um, I'm not even going to try. Yeah, Kedido Otaku. Kedido nah, Otaku. Otaku, Otaku. Yeah. Um, Something like that. <laughs> um, well, yeah, the Warriors, it's it's also going to be a lot more self-produced. Okay. So it's, you know, that's that's better for me because it'll really give me the chance to let people hear exactly what was going on in my mind. Yeah. As opposed to being limited to, to something someone else produced. Mm -hmm. So that's something else I'm excited for. Because yeah. I didn't really get to dabble into the production on this last CD. So this one's going to be a lot more, a lot more of just me hands on with this. I we're looking forward to that. And do you have uh, a specific day that you're shooting for? Or are you kind yeah. of just working with um, developing the mixtape and then you'll or or the possible album and then album, yeah. and then you'll put a release date to it. Is it um well it should be out this summer. That's the goal. This summer. Okay. Um, the first single should be coming within the next two, three weeks. Okay. So yeah, we should definitely see it this summer with the way things are going. I don't see why it wouldn't. Mm -hmm. But um yeah, definitely gonna shoot for the summer. All right, so make sure you keep us updated because we're definitely looking Got forward you, to that. Man. I'm trying to find out who this artist is. But he's not trying you. to let me know. But it's all good. Um, so we are about to do for the first time. We're about to premiere a music video on Black Plague yes. TV. This yes. is the first premiere that we've done this far. So do you want to tell us about Transformation? What's yeah. this about? Dog? So Transformation is um, you're gonna see a lot of that visual inspiration okay. that I told you about from anime and stuff like that. All right. Um, it's a more mellow track. It's a lot of special effects and. Um, you know, we just kind of worked with what we had to do this video. It's it's a very special video to me. Okay. Definitely. And yeah. is this the is this the first music video under Kyle Henry? Yes, this is uh, the first music video so under Kyle big Henry. Big things, yep. you guys. Big things. Yep. So here it is, the premiere of Kyle Henry's Transformation, Transformation. right here on Black Plague TV. Check it out. When I first dreamed about this Try to make a meal with the things I spit Make sure y'all don't forget the story What a whirlwind this has been Let me tell you about the past few years Spoon fed lies, spitting out fears Spitting out fears Yeah, spoon fed lies, spitting out fears Tears cry on the cheeks of a soldier, soldier. But never with a physical wound Nah these eyes don't have no innocence So I took those steps right up to life And I greeted with one hand, one hand. Tragedy makes 12 year old turn 18 for 6 years Think about it uh. This life ain't have no warning signs No reset and no recess These breaks can be the death of me uh -huh. Don't believe in destiny That bitch ain't got no sympathy nah. Lies mixed with pain. pain Pride mixed with fame Cause fame. this battle feels the same. the same This battle feels the same. the same The lion even bites his tongue to bow before my mane Mane up all night Facing fears, look up, that's why, God that's Know why. you got your way with plans Just please don't take your time, God, I'm gone This life is so insane Sometimes I really need to go super sane To get through all the bullshit Sometimes I really need to go super sane And if you feel the same then I'll be here every night that you feel like you're alone. You're alone. 
If you lost, turn on the radio. Now, this goes out to all the kids struggling in class. Can't decide a major, a career that they can pass. Just know you got a gift that's even greater than all that. The gift of being able to decide your own path. That's real. Cause I lost that privilege years ago Man, loss of a loved one sure do stain Loss of a loved one sure do pain I'm no walking campaign But sometimes I'm the best support Who can see these tears behind closed doors Closed doors At first they'll feel you're all alone And ain't no one there You need a clone But don't Wheezy got that bracelet on Don't Wheezy got that bracelet on Knots in the pit of my stomach These walls I built, they coming down See my eyes, they hold the flame And ain't no thumb big enough for this game So I pray Then I met Jay-Z and he told me Sometimes Make one for you, so I wrote this down yeah. Did this for my brother, now he's looking down and proud of that uh. It ain't no damn coincidence that I got these angels on my back, my back. <laughs> This life is so insane Sometimes I really need to go super sane To get through all the bullshit Sometimes I really need to go super sane And if you feel the same, feel the same. Then I'll be here every night that you feel like you're alone. You're alone. If you're lost, turn on the radio. For more information and updates on Kyle Henry, make sure you check him out on Twitter at Kyle Henry J. And for the latest news on your favorite music, celebrities, and local talent, check out BennettKnows.com. Thank you for watching and join us next week when we showcase another one of Rhode Island's talented individuals. Until next time, I'm Bennett Knows, and this is Black Plague TV.